you know, as you tally up your money and you tally up your bills and everything that you have going on with your accounts and the amount of money from your income that you have coming in, have you ever came to the point, I know I have, where you have too much month on the end of your money? What am I talking about? That means that all your bills and everything that you have to pay, all your expenses, there's still a lot of month left and you don't actually have the money to cover the rest of the month. Maybe you paid for your electricity, maybe you paid for your food, but daycare still needs to be paid. Your school bill still needs to be paid. You still need gas in your car. What problem does this present? Or rather, or shall I say, what problem is it? It's a budgeting problem. It's a budgeting problem. We all at one time, unless you just was born into money, had to budget. And budget doesn't mean for you to be frugal, okay? Budgeting just means that you're working out your income with your expenses slash bills, okay? Because not every expense is a bill. Do I need to harp on that? I'm gonna harp on that, I'm gonna harp on that. And I know I'm gonna use a notorious Starbucks example. That's my notorious Starbucks example. That's an expense. You don't have to have Starbucks. That's an expense. And here's one, I'm gonna flip this one, flip mode, I'm gonna flip this one. Chevron gas. Shell gas. You don't have to go to Chevron. You don't have to go to Shell, but they have such good gas. You don't have to. In my opinion, that's an expense. You can go somewhere that's cheaper. Maybe BP. I don't know. Whatever's cheaper in your town. Rogers cheap gas. Your car may break down. That's probably the name of the gas, but that's not the point. That's what I call an expense. Now, regular bills, those things that you know we all have, water, trash, sewer, blah, 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 mortgage, rent, so on and so forth. Do you have more month than you have money. Meaning you cannot cover all the monthly bills, all the monthly expenses because of your income. This is simply a budgeting problem. Now, for some of you, you say, well, it's an income problem because I don't have enough income. Well, uh, let me think about this. You created 100% of your bills. Now, granted, there's some special cases out there when we're talking about medical, medical bills, people need to help. Now, I want you to stay focused. I'm not dealing with those things that are really out of your hands. I'm talking about the bills. I'm talking about the expenses that you called up, that you signed up for. If you have too much month at the end of your money, then you are not budgeting correctly. Because these are the things that you should be doing. The four tiers of money. The four tiers of money. One, you should be getting out of debt so you're debt free. Two, you should be budgeting your money so you know how much money you need to what? Three, save. And four, invest. Yes, this is a budgeting problem when you have too much month at the end of your money. And a while back, I came out with a video with all these uh, uh, budgeting apps for you to really dig into. And this is the thing, guys. I play video games. I go out, I ride my bike, I work out. I do the regular things that you do too. I got my favorite shows, Scandals Back On. I got my favorite shows. I got all these things going on just like you. But you have to take time out for yourself and stop telling yourself, I don't have enough time. Yes, you do. I don't have enough time. I remember girls back in the day like, oh, I'm just so busy, I don't have time to date. But you just went out with your girls. Now, I know that's a different story. But like, well, I only go out once a month. Well, I guess you can date once a month. <laughs> I don't know. But the point is this. That has nothing to do with the damn conversation. Excuse me. The point I was trying to make is that you have time to sit down and budget. Because this is the thing. You should not be using anything, anything else but the money you earn to pay off your bills, except for the income you have coming in to invest. You must, you need, you should
cut your expenses, lower your bills. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you a thousand ways to lower your electric bill. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you a million ways to lower your water bill. I'm not going to tell you these things because the internet is full of tricks and ideas and methods and ways for you to cut house, apartment, and condo expenses. The only thing it takes from you is what? Your time. You have time. You make time for everything else except for you. You make time for everybody else and everything else except for you and your budget. So if you have too much month at the end of your money, it's time for your ass to budget. I'm out.